hello friends in this video i will show i will start talking about introduction of all uh, ecosystem tools in big data and hadoop as part of that uh, first i will start with hadoop and uh, uh, to to kick start you need to first set up the environment and this is the link uh, for setting up the environment and uh, also you can go to my youtube channel and uh, click on uh, playlists on my youtube channel and then you can uh, uh, actually go through my uh, introduction big data introduction series and uh, and then you can uh, uh, see video about setting up the environment and uh, hdfs as well as map reduce it is just introduction of these things uh, you will see end to end uh, uh, steps to setting up the development environment which you can leverage to play with the Hadoop ecosystem and then uh, you, you will understand a little bit about HDFS and MapReduce as well. So I have provided those links uh, in this also and uh, as I have shown uh, earlier all the tools in Hadoop ecosystem are categorized uh, uh, into two one is MapReduce based and the other one is non-MapReduce based and this list is not final and this will keep on evolving and I will try to add uh, uh, update this introduction series by adding uh, uh, introduction for each and every uh, video uh, uh, each and every tool okay and uh, so these are the uh, tools which are map reduced based and these are non map reduced based tools in this video I will start with introduction to hive and then we will talk about rest of the tools in future so first let us understand what is hive so as as shown earlier uh, let me log into my hadoop cluster new window basic so if you look at uh, the files in uh, Hadoop this is the command you can uh, access the Hadoop file system uh, user has to use the uh, uh, file system loc uh, location of my files in the file system HDFS also starts with root and then user is a directory under root and then hd user is a directory under uh, slash user and uh, then if you run this it will list all the files under this location okay when you dump data into hdfs uh, data can be structured or unstructured so if the data is structured which is the case uh, when we talk about uh, enterprise data from uh, uh, any traditional databases into Hadoop data will be typically structured so when you dump this that data into Hadoop uh, if you want to create a, if you want to process you can use tools such as Hive which can define logical structure on the existing data in HDFS and then you can run SQL type of queries uh, on top of that data so that is about uh, uh, Hadoop uh, sorry Hive it provides commands to load or insert it data into HDFS. It provides SQL interface to process data in HDFS. It uses MapReduce to process the data. And it stores metadata or logical structure which we uh, uh, use to define the structure on HDFS uh, in typical RDBMS such as MySQL. And now I will uh, show you a small demo on Hive. Okay, so this is the command uh, which which you can use to log into Hive, and it will launch the interface for Hive, and you can run uh, commands like show databases to list the database, and uh, you can uh, let me create a new database, create database, Hive introduction okay this is the command uh, to create the database and then you can run use hive introduction so uh, hive follows mysql or postgres uh, in uh, in defining the syntax and all 
So if you are from MySQL or uh, Postgres background, it will be very easy to understand all these things. For uh, Oracle guys, you typically will not create databases from command line. Uh, it's uh, it's one time activity whereas in mysql and postgres you can create as many databases as you want but uh, there is no concept of users in hive you can create databases but there is no concept of users so when you create this database what will happen is it will create a directory under uh, this location user hive warehouse so you can run this command dfs is nothing but alias for hadoop fs uh, in hive you can run this command and you can see a directory so this is a directory and the first first bit of this uh, POSIX representation is shown as D it is a directory and it has created a directory with extension .db so whenever you create a database uh, it will create a directory like this so uh, you, you are already in this database because you ran use command and now we will try to create a table okay and the table syntax like looks like this so we are trying to define a logical structure uh, for the existing data so let me run this uh, so if you try to decipher this command uh, create table table name is uh, typical and then um, uh, it will not follow traditional rdbms data types it has its own set of data uh, data types if you want to explore that you can search for hive user guide in google and you can um, go through the syntax and semantics of create table commands uh, after defining columns and column types uh, you need to tell uh, how the data is structured uh, in hdfs in this case we are trying to create a table uh, for data that is pipe delimited so the row format delimited fields terminated by just syntax and then uh, stored as a text file uh, uh, by defining stored as a text file we are saying that it's a text data so it will assume that uh, it is um, we are trying to create a table for data set which is uh, represented in text format and delimited by uh, pipe and you can hit enter and it will create the table and you can run describe formatted large deck it will give you the details about your table so there are three columns color suite and pip and uh, field delimiter is pipe and uh, input format is text input format okay now what will happen in the uh, in the hdfs so we will again go to this uh, user hive warehouse and our data uh, and run the command again now we will go to the hive introduction dot db and we will see what what happened it has created a table called large deck and even when you run the describe formatted it gives the location of the table okay so nothing but a directory uh, the uh, so uh, whenever you create a table in hive it will create a directory in under corresponding database in this case the database is hive underscore introduction dot db and large underscore is the uh, a table name so it created a directory with large underscore deck now you have created the table uh, sorry you have created the direct table and then uh, which have created table internally and we will see what is there in that there is nothing because we just created the table we haven't copied the data so now i will show you uh, uh, how to copy the data uh, okay so this is the command to copy the data so let me type it here so we are trying to load data from local in path so this is local in path which is os location so there is a file called large deck on dot txt under uh, os uh, file system or linux file system which we are uh, which we have used to log in uh, under home history user data cards large deck dot txt and then we are running uh, we are loading into large deck okay and if you hit enter it is copying data from file which is in the local file system into hdfs it's a 2 gb file so it uh, 2 gb or 3 gb file so it will take little time to copy this data
if you want to load data from hdfs path uh, you just don't need to have local here and then you have to give the actual path in hdfs and then you can even uh, copy data from one hdfs location in, uh, to this table which is large deck So now that is copied to Hadoop. Now let us see what's, uh, what have happened in HDFS. And when you run this command, you can see that uh, a 3GB file is copied to HDFS under hive introduction.db directory under large deck directory. You can see this large deck.txt file. Now you can run this command to validate. Select large, uh, star from large deck limit 10. And you can see the sample data also you can run uh, actually when you do select star from it will just uh, uh, read the data it will not run the map reduce job i am running another uh, command uh, using select count of one from select star from large deck limit one million just to make it faster i am running the query like this i am not going into syntax and semantics um, of the uh, command uh, what i am trying to show you is you can write sql type of queries and if you see it is creating a map reduce job you can monitor the job from this url if you are familiar with the um, uh, map reduce execution frameworks such as uh, yarn or classic you can monitor the job like this because it is a map reduce job you can monitor here if it is not map reduce job you might not be able to monitor the job from here okay so it is running uh, let us wait until it is completed as you can see one one query can uh, uh, run as multiple map reduce jobs in this case as we have nested query uh, it ha it is saying that it requires two jobs to get this count one job is already done now the second job is running once it is done it will give the results of uh, the count which is 1 million because we are only reading 1 million records we are not reading everything so uh, now the job is completed and it has given the results so this is how you can use Hive to process the data using SQL type of uh, queries. I hope you enjoy this introduction of Hive uh, and I will continue uploading more videos about the introduction of uh, all the tools in uh, Hadoop as well as Big Data Ecosystem. Uh, thank you. Bye.